Yes, hey, what's up everybody? My name is Sebastian, Seth de la Web, and today it's a video about Anybox. It's one of my latest favorite tools where you can bookmark not only your website links, but also your application links, meaning you can switch very quickly and it really optimizes your workflow. Uh, unfortunately, Anybox is only available for Mac, so I'm not sure if there's a good um, alternative for Windows, but I was so excited that I wanted to share this with you because I'm building websites on a daily basis. So I'm switching between projects and each project has its own bookmarks, its own applications. And, and before I needed to switch, click on the application, for example, go to Figma and hopefully the, uh, the, the project was already open in that case. And sometimes I needed to switch to Notion, made, made sure that, that it was also already open or I needed to search. So every time the sw the switching between applications and finding the right bookmark, it really took time. So I thought, okay, maybe there's a good tool out there. And Anybox is really saving me a lot of time on a daily basis now because I can centralize my bookmarks and also it's nicely connected to my Apple account. So even on my iPhone, I have my bookmarks with me. And if I switching laptop, I can even, you know, get access to all my bookmarks again. So for example, let me show you a quick example. We are working on a project for uh, Kantepa. It's one of our latest project where we are, as you can see, creating a nice design. We already have a staging environment. Uh, so for example, this specific website as you can see so what I can do now is once you have installed any box you will get a kind of collection where you can collect all the uh, bookmarks and I'm also using smart list just to categorize them but when I go to Contepa you can see I'm having a Figma bookmark a Miro bookmark an award bookmark I have a link to the live website and also to the page list uh, you can also set up your bookmarks here when you go to the settings. Let me quickly show you settings and then go to shortcuts. Here you can, you know, set up the quick save and also the quick find. And that's the, actually the only two that I'm really using. So now when I'm just, you know, starting off with my project again, working, I'm just doing command shift G and then I search on Contepa and then I can just quickly open up uh, whatever is needed, you know, whenever, whatever is needed. So um, I'm going to also quickly show you how I'm going to do this for this next client because we are now working on Club. This is one of our latest projects and we have a Figma board. We also have a award board where we find inspiration. We have a Miro board, we have a page list and we even have a, a Notion page. So for bookmarking, um, to create bookmarks, uh, within Chrome, for example, or Safari or Firefox, it's very easy. I just use my shortcut and then what I, well, let me first just create a smart list because I'm just going to show you my way of doing it. So I'm just going to uh, add a smart list, calling this club. I'm making sure that the keywords is also set to club. So it will automatically be archived in the club whenever the uh, club is uh, in the uh, bookmark name. So now I have just a clean folder. And as you can see, there was already one available. Let me just quickly delete it. So I just start off fresh. And this is the award board where we have all the inspiration. What I will do, I will just bookmark, bookmark it. I like to work with a structure where it's first the name of the actual tool and then the name of the client. Because then I, when I just now do command, uh, no, command G, I can just search on the name of the client and then I go to the award web page. Well, we also, like I said at the beginning, we have also have a Miro board. So again, what I would do is I will just bookmark it again with the shortcut, putting near Miro up front and now it's saved. And as you can see, it's automatically because of the smart list automatically archived in the club smart list. So that is very easy. Let me quickly do the last one. That is the, our feedback list so done <clears throat> now I have all the website bookmarks ready I can um, I can now also show you how to do it for actual applications because that was my main feature you know there are of course bookmarks available within uh, Chrome or Safari or Firefox no problem for that but really also having the application uh, the 
the possibility to switch between applications was a huge game ch games changer for me. So in terms of the application Figma, what I can easily do is I'm just going to copy the link. You can also click on share. You just need to find the link of the actual page. Then what I will do is I will click on bookmark again. And then as you can see, it's trying to find the bookmark of uh, the page that will still open in Chrome. So it, it isn't really, and that is unfortunately not finding the bookmark directly from the application that is opened up. Hopefully maybe it will be saved by time. But what I would do now, and in, in Mac it's very easy, I'm just giving the I'm just using the application name, and then just using this method, just as it is with uh, website links, just Figma, and then putting the link, and then what I can do is just take away the URL, and maybe this is you know different with each application, so you need to try different things. And now what I will just do is just say Figma Club. And now what I have is even, and as you can see in the smart list, I have a direct link to my Figma file. So I'm going to close it just to see if you can see how it works. So now I can open up Club Figma and it will just open up easy as that. And same counts for like Notion. What I can do is just share, copy the link, go uh, just creating a new bookmark again and again it will try to find the browser that was still opened but that's not the link that I need but I can just type in notion again putting the URL take away the entire URL of notion calling it club notion save and now I have like I said a bunch of links directly so whenever I starting with my project I will just open up again my and then I search on client and then I can just easily switch also for club let me just close it so you can see it's actually working so I will just close everything just going to my daily task and now when I would just go and I'm on browsing and I just want to open up club notion you can see it's directly working so again it's probably different for each application you need to find the method you only need to change uh, let me just open up again Figma so you can always change it, edit link metadata. Uh, this is the text in the link, but you need to find refresh link. No, nope, not refresh link, what was it? Edit URL, and here you can change the URL if it's not working for you. So I wanted to show you this. Uh, again, I'm going to create more videos, not only about Flatsome, but just my pref preferable tools, just like Notion and also this Anybox and any, uh, any kind of other software that I like to share with you. That is just a huge benefit for me to work with on a daily basis. So make sure to check it out. I'm not an affiliate uh, to these guys, uh, but you can just try it out. Um, I'm not sure if I'm, yeah, I'm having the pro version, but it's like $15 a year. Uh, you can even get the lifetime for $40. Maybe I even have that, uh, I'm not sure anymore. Uh, so uh, and then you're set for life so thanks for watching and again there are some other huge benefits you can even have like a floating bookmarks bar on your desktop yeah, like like your dog you can create another personal dog you know there is so much cool stuff out there but I just wanted to show you how I am using and utilizing it for you know really my project management all right so thanks for watching see you in the next video make sure to subscribe to get uh, updated on the latest video and give the thumbs up. <laughs> All right, bye guys.